Hello everyone and welcome back to Coronos Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Today we're going to continue with our little racer quest and I think we need to go to the landing port which is up there next. I think that's the one I want to do. I can remember how to do this. Uh, yeah, I think I want to do the mushroom one first because it's difficulty medium. And then we'll do the med medical necessities after that because it's high. So yeah, let's go up to the landing port and talk to Orvid, who I want to say Redenbacher afterwards. I think that's Orbal Redenbacher. Yeah, I think I'm just like getting some things mixed up in my head. Uh, you? No, you're Skip. I you named a ship for a second. I was like, that's that's a cut right there. Um, uh, I guess it probably isn't the kid, right? You're not a kid. You're Orvid. Sorry, dog. Are you a kid? Anyways, darn braces. How long do they intend to keep me waiting? If they don't hurry and get here, I'm going to miss my flight. I should have expected as much as from a rural backwater burg like this. Huh? Well, I'll be. That's the brace emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent, urgent job, so do you have some time to hear my request? Sure. Uh, sure. We get some time. Great. This will really help me out. All, you, all right, let me give you a rundown and explain the details of the job. Let me formally introduce myself. I'm Orvid, representative of Orvid Co. Uh, LTD. Yeah, you know me. I'm Estelle and this is Joshua. It's nice to meet you. Estelle and Joshua, is it? The two of you are quite young, if I do say so myself. How old are you? You're very tiny. Hehe, <laughs> we're actually pretty new to this whole bracer thing. Greenhorns? Oh, well, I guess I'll ha you'll have to do. Pardon? <laughs> uh, never mind, I was just talking to myself. Alright, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. It is said that it only grows in soil rich of septum. There are records of it being plucked here in Roland, but no shop seems to carry it. However, it is a vital necessity that I get my hands on one, so I just uh, so I put in a request at the guildhouse. Soil rich with septum. I can only think of the Malga Trail of a pos as a possible location. Do you know any other characteristics of this of these mushrooms? It seems that it normally grows in areas with patches of grass. However, since it's buried in the dirt, if I don't look closely, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. Jeez, this sounds like a, it's going to be a pain. Yeah, it does actually. But once you dig it one up, you'll know if it's a firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows with a light green color. So that's why it's called Firefly Fungus. Well, that makes sense. Alright, have I explained things en clearly enough? So basically all you need uh, all we need to do is go find a glowing mushroom in a patch of grass along the Malga Trail, right? Looks that way to me. Well, if they're really growing in the ground, we probably won't be able to find one so easily. If you run into any trouble, come back and speak to me again. I'll ask you to find one as soon as possible. Alrighty, is that the trail we took to go to that tower? Yes. Alright, that's good. Because I want to go back to said tower and see if we can go any higher. Because I know we got up to the second floor and then we had to turn back. So I'm checking the grass. I mean, I'm looking for exclamation points. Do you think it's going to be underneath one of these these monsters it's worth a shot to be fair we have a preemptive strike and they should be a lot weaker now I was told experience scaled so I shouldn't worry too much about um, getting over level than what I'm at now so that's good I debated on going after some more of those little shiny uh, palms I think they were called but I, I think they might be that might be a little bit too grindy. They drop a lot of materials. And they did give me 100 experience points, so that might be a little bit too much. I just kind of want to... I, I did kind of want to, like, unlock all my slots, to be quite honest. Oh. Nothing... Not a thing remains in this chest except a lonely dead spider. Right, so I did already loot these chests, so... Oh, there's four of you guys now. Ooh, we just killed those kitties. 
it might be time to go back and fight that chest. That's that. Let's move out. Maybe. I hope I'm checking the right thing. I am pressing A on them, though. I'm expecting an exclamation point. Oh, there's the mine. Uh, maybe there? I want to go to the tower first. Go a little bit out of our way. I will save before we go in there, though. Wait. Check the map. Oh, there's the dead end. Oh, ran into that guy. Thankfully, they die really easily. So, And I have turbo mode, so I'm not too... willing, I guess you can say, to edit this battle out. They are giving us stuff, too, which is needed. Oh, there's a chest. The chest is empty. I wonder what whose fault that is. That's a, you know... It's a mystery. You're right. It could be our fault. It could be, well, your fault, game. You ever think of that? Make sure to pass the blame onto me. Can't move the map. All right, well, there's grass around here, so I should be looking for it. Oh, it'd be kind of cool. Well, convenient, I should say, if it was here. But it doesn't seem to be. All right, let's go inside. Should probably totally, like, save, though, to... Yeah, just in case. You never know. You could bite us in the ass. <laughs> Like, we could go up to, like, the second floor or third floor, and then, like, these high-level enemies just kill us. We can move the map, or camera. Two ways to go. Oh! Okay, that is a new enemy. Preempt the strike. How you looking on stats? You weak to fire. That's good to know. You don't have that high of, uh, HP. So let's go ahead and blast you with that. That should kill you. Yeah. And then you can kill this one. Dope. Go ahead, and you're gonna go before that thing even attacks. That's dope. That's so convenient. 18 experience points, that's not too bad. A lot of water, uh, Septith. And we get a monster carapace. I'm sure there's something we can use with that. Was that stairs? Yes, it was. So we can continue to go higher. There's another monster. And that just leads back to the center, it looks like. Another preemptive strike, so we'll go after that one view. We killed it. We one-shot it. Dope. We're good to go. I mean, we might even level up by the end of this. I hope there's some treasure up here, though. I hope it's good. I debated on coming back here when we when we first. Ooh, what is that? It looks dangerous. Whatever it is, that's why I wanted a preemptive strike. How much? 150, and you're not weak to anything. You're strong against wind, though. Slightly strong against wind. Did your spell go off first? Okay. Don't use wind. Use fire. Good crit. Yeah, I wanted to come back here after we first finished that, uh, well, the first mission. Um, I... Le oh, le leathery tail. I thought it said legendary tail. I was gonna be like, ooh, really? But we can't go that way. We have to go around, probably. Let's go this way first. Huh, that's interesting. I just noticed Estelle has four more experience points than Joshua. When did that happen? I know Joshua died at some point. But we didn't finish that battle, so we never get experience for it. At least I don't think we get experience for it. Anyways, what I was saying, I was saying something about coming back here. Yeah, when we uh, saved the kids, uh, Luke and Pat. Ooh, Luke's definitely one of them. Pat might be another one. There's no treasure. Okay, we'll just skip those guys for now. There's treasure, I'm definitely interested in getting it. Need ten more experience. Ah, that's gonna be a surprise. Oh, that's a new enemy. It heals itself, kinda like those shiny uh, palm dudes. Okay, speed up a little bit and attack me. I might actually have to heal myself. How much health do you have? 
80. You're a palm. All right. Die. You didn't die. You need to heal yourself. Will you stop healing, you dick? I do know she has her thing up, but... Really? Joshua? Really? You have the higher dex out of them. I gave you a dex quartz. Dog. Oh. That's something. That, That's rage filling. You're not wrong. The rage in the cage. She's almost out of... Uh, what's it called? EP. Though if we... We're gonna level up this battle, so... We should be restored. Yeah. Still learned Hurricane. What? Is that like a normal skill, I'm assuming? How do I see your normal skills? It is a craft. I'm assuming it's a... Area hitting skill. Oh, it's a... It's a thing. So yeah, I definitely want to save. I'm worried about these chests. Knitted shoes. You already took everything it had to offer. What more do you want? I like the exclamation point. What more do you want? Okay. Movement plus one. That's not bad. Okay. I was worried that was going to cause a fight. Damn, maybe I should have gave freaking Joshua those knitted shoes because he just died again. And I had to use my last reviving bomb. So that's the way up. But was there something over there? I don't think there was. No, there's nothing in there. I mean, there's a, a ladder, not ladder, but a pathway. All right, healed up using tear. Oh, is this just the? God damn it! Okay, so this was the entrance. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and go up then. Is it this way? Tower. Uh, well, floor five. I should say. <laughs> I almost said tower five. Don't see any enemies. I see a chest. Uh, potluck in a shell. I'd ask yourself how long that potluck has been in this chest, and if you feel lucky. Yeah, but if I eat it, that means I can cook it, right? Let's go over here. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. This was the entrance. Another fish. It's back turned. It is now. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of enemies here, so let's... See what a hurricane does. Doesn't kill them, sadly, but it's not bad. Those were a lot of enemies. Um, hurricane's really useful there, though. Alright, so there's a tree here. Tree does nothing. It's like goggles. That goes up again, but I did see that treasure over there. So we need to make our way over there. But can't. Is that true? No. No, it is true. Okay, so we gotta go up a floor and then down a floor? I like the cut of that jib, probably. Um, tower roof. Can't use anything. That's clearly like a portal of some sign. Or some kind. But I can't go down? Can I jump and I just don't know it yet? What am I missing? Maybe there's another... Maybe there's another, like... I don't know. 
another way up from the previous floor? It's worth something to look into. There's a treasure over there. Oh crap. Maybe there's just another part of this tower we can't get to yet. And that's just something we'll, uh... Yeah, maybe there's a, another floor or something that, uh... How did I miss this? The chest mocks you with its emptiness. I don't know. Well, this goes up, doesn't it? Maybe that's it. Yeah, okay. And there's the chest. Now if we can get to the chest, we can get to the chest. Dope. Just bypass you real fast. And I'm always worried about these chests because of the last encounter where he like, killed us. Well, didn't kill us, I was able to run. Oh, monsters appear. How many monsters? Just three? 200 isn't too bad. Uh, no, you attack this one. 45, that's pretty shit. Dual strike on this one. Oh. Okay, uh, kill that one, hopefully. Oh, they self-destruct. Okay. Good to know. Um, you use dual strike on this dude. Art. Fire. I need you to heal yourself because you'll die if they hit you. I mean, you'll die if they blow up in your face. Okay, okay, art, there, you, move, <laughs> alright, hey, we're doing alright, we're actually gonna kill these guys, probably, sweet, That's that, then. Let's move out. I'm proud of myself, that's a lot of stuff, what we get? Tin staff! Apparently someone already looted the chest. Now who could that be? I wonder if it was me. So that tin staff might be way better than what I have on. Well, three points, but range is good, right? That mean does that mean I can attack like further out? I need to heal myself. Getting down <laughs> might actually be a bit of an issue. But yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys at the bottom of this place. All right, now to find that freaking mushroom. <laughs> to be quite honest, I didn't, I didn't actually expect it to go up that high. I kind of thought there would be like maybe a dead end or something. Um, also, I guess we're going towards the mines, right? That'd probably be the only place that they are available at. Well, that we haven't checked on this route. I'm surprised we actually weren't able to kill these guys. Did that dude just knock me all the way back? What the hell? <laughs> Good lord, did they they must have both attacked me or something last time. Also, I don't know what range does. I thought it would allow me to actually have further reach with my staff, and maybe that is true, but it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Oh, it's you! I was just about to say, what? who the hell just attacked us? I mean, sure, I got to- I gotta check, right? Like... If anything, I would imagine that there would be something underneath these guys. Man, I hope we're in the right place. They said Mulga Trail, and in grass. Yeah, no, I'm here, okay. And I'm pressing I'm pressing A when uh I'm pressing A when we come across the the grasslands, so I don't know. I, I'm assuming there'll be some sort of marker when I actually check it. 
I get close to the right one? Okay, this way is a dead end. I'm hoping... Yeah, I'm hoping I'm actually... Doing this right, and I'm not missing something, like, obvious. Kind of like last time I get lost. Oh, okay. Aha! What's with the sudden outburst? I found it! Now to claim our prize. Isn't that... You think so, too? The place, is gro uh, the place it's growing seems about right, and it's about that... So it, it's got that soft green glow. This has got to be the Firefly Fungus that What's-His-Face was talking about. You mean Orvid, right? Yeah, that's who I meant. It doesn't look all that tasty, but I'm sure it's... It, it sure, it's pretty for a mushroom. Don't eat wild... Never eat a wild mushroom unless you have been trained in, like, wild edibles. Because mushrooms will kill your ass. Don't. Almost like it's uh, like the glow of septum, if you ask me. Septum? What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you'd better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. What the? Boss time? Boss time. I mean, probably not boss, but... Fixed encounter time? Just like I thought. Or figured. This much mushroom attracts... Estelle, look out! Oh, they all, they definitely all came for her. So three of them, not too worried about that. Mm, nah, we don't need any of that. Can I get attack off? No, I can't. How much health do you have? 120? Not, not too much. And you should be able to kill this guy with your dual strikes. I'm gonna start trying to take more advantage of the craft abilities. Because I just actually appreciated them in the tower when I was going up against the, uh, the fish. The fish were draining their health, like Estelle and Joshua's health, like the palms were. But they were doing a lot more. And it was hard to kill them. And at one point, that's when Joshua died and I had to use the revival bomb on him. And when I dual strike them, though, he would kill them instantly. Now that was a surprise, I tell you. Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted by Ross Septon has the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant! He never mentioned a single thing about this! Anyways, let's head back to town. Right! Just wait till I get my hands on you, conniv conniving merchant. I mean, I, you might not know? But I guess I'll meet you guys back at the landing port. Alright, Orvid. What's that you say? You found the mushroom? Yep, we found it alright. Ha, huh, wonderful! But it might be different than the one we heard about from you. It better not be. You see, this monster, this mus uh, mushroom attracts monsters. Oh, uh, well, it's like this. So even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid? But what? How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a brace's job is to deal with danger, right? Yeah, if we know about it. Well, a little heads up would have been nice so we could have at least been prepared. Never mind us. The big question is, my question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up! You have some big you had some big nefarious plan, right? A nefarious mushroom plan? Uh, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm doing going to use it for? For cooking, of course. What? what Cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. I actually just clicked into the window and advanced the dialogue. I'm sorry, I got distracted there for a moment. Um, anyways, I gotta, I gotta remember that for the future when I uh, have to make... Anyways, sorry about that. And for the for that perceptive, the Firefly Fungus is the king of all perspective. Not perceptive. This is, no doubt, the ultimate ingredient. Dots. So pretty much what you're saying is that it's for people with bizarre eating habits. Hmm. That's the talk of one unacquainted with true delicacy. But then again, commoners such as yourselves would never uh, would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that. I never want to gnaw on a, ra a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyways, I have other business preparations to make. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to I like you. I would, I'd ask that you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yeah, please take it. 
On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. You paid us to do a job. Why do I have to be grateful to you? No one's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Josh, let's go. Please excuse us. We'll, we will be going now. Yes, please do. That seems like an ass. All right, let's head back to the Bracers Guild and turn this in. Our little sidetrack to the tower was beneficial, though it did kind of get into the way of the other mission that I wanted to do. Uh, 3 BP and 700 Mera. And we, our rank is still the same. Okay. So where do we gotta go for this one? Um, a flower known as a bear claw and a savory pinion. We have like two of those, I think. Former is native to the forest of Miss Wold, south of Roland. Do I gotta go talk to the father first? Well, we'll check that out. Are you... There's a church here, right? Is this the church? It's a chapel. Hello? Girl in uniform, I see. I can leave you with your inspired words. Okay. Hey, Father Divine. The greater light, the darker the shadow becomes. When one soul is touched by a blinding light, he becomes conscious to the darkness within, embraces a contrite spirit. Especially those who were tormented by the sins of their past. Thoughts? However, oh, there, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others and reach a greater plane of insight. What is important for the individuals preparing for the future and deciding what one must, uh, what one wants to do? Ah, just listening to him makes my brain hurt. Father Divine sermons are always difficult for me to understand. Okay, so we just gotta go to the forest south of Roland then and find this beer paw. Well, I'm assuming it's gonna be a monster drop then. If that's the case, wait a minute. Isn't that on the way home? Force Miss Wold, self of Roland. So there's gonna be a different way then. Okay, now we can go south. Well, at least make our way towards there. It's a long way. Uh, and there's monsters here. <laughs> of course. Of course, Bane, of course. Should look for treasures. Just in case. We could go back and try that other uh, chest encounter. I... Hmm. I mean, I need to rest up. You know what? Yeah, we'll go try that other chest, en a chest encounter after I stay at my house, I'm assuming we can get a free stay in, but that'll be next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, on the end of my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.